Alright guys, we are back for another Dokkan Battle video. We're taking a look at Banner Unit Krillin here. Um, we've gotten quite a few Banner Unit Krillins throughout the years, and this one looks really good. Um, this Krillin has got damage reduction, he has support. Um, this guy's looking to me like a good template for exactly what these types of characters should be like. Um, Krillin is such a help to both Piccolo Jr. and Goku. That's what these Banner Units should be. They should be characters there to help prop up the main Dokkan Fest character, right? With this guy giving support and having huge damage reduction, it allows him to make Piccolo better, to make Goku better, and Krillin is not bringing down the team in any way. This is exactly what Super 17 needed. This is exactly what Dokkan Fest Kale needed, and they didn't get it. Let's be happy at least that Piccolo Jr. and Goku got this guy. Um, I'm gonna awaken him here, uh, and use him at 55%, probably in the showcases, 55% showcases for Piccolo Jr., um, as well as Goku, um, and then we'll come back, we'll rainbow him, eventually this video becomes the, you know, Link Level 10, you know, 200%, you know, rainbow video, but, yeah, I'm just, it's, it's, I do it incrementally, right, because I like to get all this footage, uh, captured. Alright guys, so I've finished the summons for our boy Krillin. Now all we have to do is give him the Rainbow Star here, and we can go ahead and hop into his showcase. Uh, Krillin is a really, really good character for sure. Um, Krillin is already going to get crit chance uh, from being hit. He doesn't really get defense or anything like that on super attack effect. Um, and he's a support type unit that has got some damage reduction. So to me it's very obvious, full dodge. Alright guys, we are here in an event. We have got uh, Banner Unit Krillin here. Um, this is the character in this celebration that I had to, I guess, hunt the hardest. Krillin was giving me a lot of issues. Um, but Krillin at least is really good. You could probably make the case for Krillin being the best Banner Unit. I do feel like defensively, Krillin probably is going to be better than Piccolo most of the time. STR Piccolo. I guess maybe if I use Krillin a little bit more, but uh, Piccolo is very good, right? He certainly can reduce the amount of damage you're taking a lot, but Krillin is probably going to be a bit tankier. I guess Piccolo, though, uh, his support is for super class allies, whereas Krillin is a bit more restricted to the world tournament category, right? Um... I guess we could just, you know, immediately jump in. Now, we can get some better links if we put Krillin in the middle, but I do potentially want to get Krillin hit right here. Uh, Krillin gets hit, and then he gets two key, 150% attack and defense, and then a high chance to crit for four turns after receiving an, a hit. Uh, hit. Um, now, I mean, Krillin being good, I, I don't want to say it's completely predicated on that, but it certainly does allow Krillin to be, you know, I, I mean, defensively, I've seen Krillin sitting at like 700k defense after he's activated that portion of his passive, right? And then, remember, Krillin, before attacking, if you're fighting one enemy, he has 60% damage reduction. After attacking against one enemy, he has 40% damage reduction. But 700k defense with 40% damage reduction um, is really very good. Let, let, let's just sort of see um, how our boy Krillin um, <clears throat> fares throughout this run. All right, so he got his passive up, and he opens up with a 7 million attack stat. Considering this has a 50% chance to crit, he's giving the rotation 40% support, and he had, um, <clears throat> you know, the one hit that came at him, he had 60% damage reduction. It's crazy. They made this Krillin an absolute animal. I, I, I would say it's actually rather surprising um, that he's as good as he is. Uh, like, it, it's like really, really, really good. And it, it does beg the question of, I mean, if they know that, you know, Krillin, Krillin is like exactly what we want from a band unit, right? Krillin is here to build up and make Piccolo Jr. and this Goku better. And Krillin easily undoubtedly accomplishes that goal he makes these two characters better so i don't understand why frost and then um what's the other character <clears throat> dr Joan, dr mew had to suck balls right both super 17 and kale are kind of in a tough spot and it's because of the options around them right well guess what hmm sure would be nice if frost and then dr Joan, dr mew were actually decent characters actually runnable strong options right 
like Piccolo Jr. and Goku are like way smoother because we have this Krillin who's just so very dominant. Now we have um, a pretty decent rotation right here for Krillin. Uh, we have yeah, dude, 533 he's at right here. So 533, right? He gets 150% attack and defense at the start of turn. He gets 100% attack and defense when performing a super attack. World Tournament Category Allies get two key 40% attack and defense. So, he gets 100% defense when performing a super attack. So, it's like we... You see how high his defense is with damage reduction, right? Like, he's, he, he gets 100% when he supers right here. Like, yeah, I, Krillin is... I mean, he's nuts, man. Like, it's like, yeah, like, I... I it just, I mean, you, you look at these numbers and it's like, I... I I probably would place him as the best band unit because, like, people raised a good point to me, which is Android 8. Is Android 8's, like, role, is he different, like, drastically different from, like, Tech God Goku or AGL Golden Frieza and then, or, or um, uh, Tech Khalifa, Tech God Goku, AGL Golden Frieza? And it's like, no, I mean, he, that is kind of what Android 8 is, right? He's one of those characters. It's just, you know, they all have conditions, right? Khalifa has to be against a pure Saiyan. God Goku has to be against a Pure Saiyan or uh, Movie Boss. I guess Khalifa also Universe Survival Saga enemy. Golden Frieza has to be above a certain HP threshold, but he's also a nuking leader, so he's banned from several of the most difficult uh, events, right? Android 8 has to be next to a kid Goku. Android 8 does kind of fit into that role, right? Where he, he is very similar to those types of characters. Um, so Krillin's Link set, by the way, Brainiacs, Turtle School, Infighter, Kamehameha, Incredible Adventure, Guidance of the Dragon Balls, and Fierce Battle. Very, very good stuff for Krillin. Yeah, I'm really impressed. I think... I don't know if I will do a ban unit tier list. I don't like to spam, like, ban unit tier list and stuff like that. I, I guess I could. It, it, it would be relevant since Krillin is just so very good. Maybe I could do it. So Krillin is at, what, like, 9 million, a mil, 9 million attacks at a million defense, 50% chance to crit... 40% damage reduction. He's supporting the rotation. All right, brah. Sure, Krillin. <laughs> Whatever you say, playboy. Uh, uh-oh. 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 Do we do this? I think we... Uh, yeah, I'm doing it, man. You're not stopping me. Uh, let me do this to get us the extra healing. Um, And then... Oh, come on. All right, I would have liked the little extra damage reduction support. All right, both Gokus are clutching up. So, Goku could not be guarding, which he's not, okay. But I have full dodge build, and he has a 50% beam nullification. And he's getting hit a lot. He's building up a lot of his stats right here. So, I mean, we're definitely not going to die, but, I mean, this this could do a lot of damage. Maybe, oh my god, could imagine if we got the standby in this video. I have not gotten the standby for Goku even one time since I rainbowed Goku. Not once. I have not gotten Goku standby since he's been rainbowed at all. Now, to be fair, I guess uh, oftentimes I am using the 8th Anniversary uh, GT Goku and Vegeta in these runs, which, I, I mean, certainly could, you know, have an effect on it. Yeah, but still, I mean, the fact that I've I've never, I, dude, I've never, I have not at all gotten his standby. All right, man. Um, hopefully the friend Goku back here, he is guarding. Um, let's, let's hope so. <laughs> let's, uh, let's really hope that we can see that. Ay, ay, ay. All right. That's, yeah, that's the one issue, I guess, with uh, Goku there. Okay, so then on this turn, Krillin's uh, passive has worn off. Now, I, I Krillin's destiny, I feel like most of the time, is to just be running him as a slot 3 floater, right? Because the way his damage reduction works, again, he gets 20% damage reduction start a turn, 20% damage reduction before attacking, and 20% damage reduction against one enemy. So, it, it's like... You know, in the toughest fights, they're all pretty much against one enemy, right? Besides, what, like, red zone gammas, I guess? Um, in these fights, <clears throat> if Krillin's passive is up, you you know, we probably... You could get away with running him slot one. 500k defense with 60% damage reduction? Oh, yeah. Like, we're pairing him... The thing is, you look at this team. Like, we're not running any subpar characters here. None of these characters are subpar. LR Jackie Chun is the best free-to-play unit in the game now, I think, with, with the strength of some of these World Tournament characters. I, I Like, LR Jackie Chun, you're completely safe running him, right? Like, he's not some weak little unit. 
Yajirobe can be caught, but he's very, very good. I, you know, I, as a banner unit, I'm okay with the way they made Yajirobe. You know, Carnival Goku, like, it's like, uh, th this is the way Krillin looks. Krillin is just this good, right? Like, it's not like we're, we're not artificially juicing Krillin up here, right? We're, this is, this is a team that I would run against all the red zone fights. All right, so Krillin gets super attacked right here. He has 60% damage reduction right here. 44k. And keep in mind, that was him without his passive up. If his passive was up, he would have eaten it better. Um, yeah, pretty good. Oh, I, I should mention <clears throat> Krillin's super attack effect. A lot of times, I'm not the biggest fan when they, they don't give a character defense from the super attack. I mean, I guess I sort of get it with Krillin. His defense, to me, does seem to be acceptable enough already, right? Like, I, I, I'm certainly not going to cry about Kr um, Krillin not having a little bit more defense, but... The fact that he doesn't get defense from a super attack effect, I would just say it opens up full dodge as, like, the absolute obvious build for this guy, right? Like, I don't see why you wouldn't go full dodge, considering he already has the crit from his passive. I mean, I guess you could go more crit, I guess, right? Krillin is, for a, su a defensive support unit, Krillin is hitting really hard. I mean, nine, dude, I would be slurping Krillin's balls if he was doing a 3 million attack stat with the stuff he's doing, right? Let alone a 9 million attack stat. Like, I, you could take away, like, all this guy's damage, and I, my opinion doesn't change that much. But, like, the damage is definitely a nice little cherry on top of the fact that this guy is pretty much without weakness. I mean, this is a really good design for a character. Now, again, um, his super attack effect, he gets 30% attack for one turn, supreme damage and then lowers enemy attack um so yeah that, that that is what he's rocking there um i guess we'll do this no reason to put um carnival goku in harm's way against this frieza my path to power kid goku will be totally fine there yeah so i guess we'll maybe get like one more rotation or something like that but um yeah i'm very impressed with krillin i mean you guys can see krillin just comes out and he does what he does right like we don't need to artificially you know, build him up or anything like that. Like, he, Krillin is actually this good. I, looking at these numbers, I mean, how could I not call him the best banning unit? I love STR Piccolo. I think STR Piccolo is great, but Pick or Krillin is is just a stronger version of STR Piccolo, right? Like, what? I, I, I don't know. I mean, it's like, a lot of times, I, I feel like STR Piccolo, he's eating a lot more damage from some of these bosses then I think Krillin is probably going to be taking in many situations. I guess there are, you know, it, it does depend, right? Like, if, you know, uh, Krillin doesn't have his passive up, he's in slot 3, he eats a super attack, maybe. Because, I mean, that 150% defense from his, pa like, his, you know, being hit, that is going to be very relevant towards how good Krillin is going to look, for sure. But, um, I, I think he's fantastic, right? Really good design. Um, he's got, like, some kind of, like, uh, restricted damage reduction here, but none of it looks bad to me, because it's, like, we're gonna be able to... Ah, this is kind of unfortunate. Um, we're gonna be able to rock Krillin's damage reduction, um, you know, pretty much the way we want it against a lot of these bosses, right? Um, I guess we'll... I, I probably can't run Jackie Chun in that spot. Let's see how Krillin does right here. So this is Krillin with his passive up. What, what would we miss out from Goku? We're missing Fierce Battle and Infighter. So it's just Damage that we're missing right there. All right, let, let's see um, what Krillin is going to give us on this rotation right here. If you know, Remember, this Frieza stacks attack during the phase. So as he super attacks, his damage goes up and up and up. So th this is Krillin in a really good spot. His passive is up. He has 60% damage reduction. Oh, Frieza's not going to super? Oh, we're just not going to super. Okay. Uh, sure, whatever. And then we just drop a nice 8 million attack set. Yeah, dude, what a, what a great character this Krillin is. I, I am uh, very impressed um, with the numbers and stats that Krillin does. Because, again, keep in mind, he's doing 8 million attack sets, 7 million attack sets, 9 million attack sets. He's got a 50% chance to crit. He's got the, you know, 60% damage reduction, 40% damage reduction, right? He's got, you know, 700k plus defense. But then you don't want to forget... He also is is doing these huge attacks. He's doing the huge attack stats, but then he's also supporting too. Like you don't want to forget that like LR Jackie Chun right there, right? And um, uh, Goku are getting the significant buffs 
by by Krillin being on rotation. I just I I can't come up with an uh, like a reason or an excuse not to just use this Krillin. Like mo like almost all the time you're gonna be using um, like Goku and Piccolo and some of these characters. I just don't really see the reason why you wouldn't want to use Krillin. Krillin is just he's just really very very good. Um, all right, so so we'll make this next turn the last turn. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think. But um, I do absolutely love this Krillin. Um, they they did a good job. This right here shows exactly how to make a banner unit. Th this is what we want right here. Is this? You know, if Kale had this Krillin, the exact build except Universe Six support, Kale would be in, in a ridiculously good spot. She'd be way better, right? Because she just actually. With the Universe 6 team, there's no character turn one, slot one, who could tank, right? Kale can't. No characters can. Um, it's like, you know, Super 17 would have been better, right? Like, it's just, it's it's unfortunate. All right, so this is a super good rotation for Krillin right here. Um, I think we'll play, l l why don't we go ahead and get uh, Jackie Chun's active skill in here? We might as well. We'll finish up this rotation and we'll see, uh, you know, what our boy Krillin is putting up here. All right, there we go. So Krillin, um, oh, Krillin doesn't have his passive up though. Yeah, that is true. Uh, I guess, I guess we could. Well, nah, we we kind of do want Krillin with his passive up for sure. So we're just missing out on fierce battle from being next to that Carnival Goku. So I guess it's not the biggest deal. All right, let's uh, let's see what Krillin wants to give us right here um, on this rotation. Uh, I would love to see Frieza super him right away. Let's see. Yeah, super him. Although, my Krillin does have a full dodge build. To me, it seems like uh, full dodge is kind of like an obvious type thing for this guy again. Because just the way he's set up... I mean, you could go for more damage, I suppose. But uh, typically, I do feel like in a lot of these teams and runs, like we don't need Krillin's damage, right? Like World Tournament Goku, Piccolo Jr., a lot of those types of characters, they're going to be able to do enough damage by themselves. It's like Krillin is helping us mostly with the defense and the support. But, I mean, I guess you could, you know, go additionals or crits to try and maximize his damage. But I think going, um, probably dodge to maximize his defensive ability, uh, you know, to help out uh, Piccolo Jr. and Goku is probably the, the best idea. Uh, this might kill us. I don't think I've built this Goku up. Let me see. <sighs> Carnival Goku, man. Yeah, he does get caught for me very often. Unfortunate. All right, this is tough all-out fight Krillin. His leader skill is Kamehameha or World Tournament Category Key 3 and 130% of stats. His super attack is the Kamehameha, which raises attack by 30%, does supreme damage to the enemy, and then lowers enemy attack. His passive skill, Unexpected Technique, he gets 150% attack and defense at the start of turn. Then he gets 100% attack and defense when performing a super attack. Then he gets World Tournament Category Allies 2 key and 40% attack and defense. Then he gets 2 key, 150% attack and defense, and a high chance to crit for 4 turns after receiving an attack. Uh, then he gets 20% damage reduction at the start of turn. He gets another 20% damage reduction before he attacks. And then he gets 20% damage reduction when facing one enemy. Uh, the damage reduction before he attacks is really good against, you know, the toughest boss in the game who does AoE normals. Um, it could be really good if, you know, for whatever reason, maybe we don't trust World Tournament Goku as his guard up or something like that, right? That, that certainly could be the case. It could work well. Um, you know, I, I don't have a problem with, you know, 20% damage reduction base, 20% before attacking, and 20% against one enemy. I think that's fine. That's like, you know, if, if Dokkan is going to give characters like this level of defense, but they're going to restrict it in this way, I don't think that's an issue. I think it's more than fair. So maybe Krillin will be a little bit weaker defensively in like Super Battle Road, but uh, yeah, I don't really care. <laughs> I'll take Krillin being super good in the really tough fights. That's what matters. Uh, Krillin's links are Brainiacs, Turtle School, Infighter, Kamehameha, Incredible Adventure, Got Into the Dragon Balls, and Fierce Battle. 12 key multiplier, 140%, same as always. And then our boy Krillin uh, is certainly on several category teams that could use help, and Krillin is a pretty substantial buff to a lot of them. Uh, Krillin, of course, is on the Kamehameha team. 
Um, you know, you could definitely build a pretty solid, uh, like, base of, like, Kamehameha World Tournament, believe it or not. But, I mean, I guess we would want a little bit more, but still, not really too bad. Uh, then Krillin is also over here on the World Tournament category as well. A uh, team that historically was the worst in the game. Now it's a really good team. Uh, Krillin is also over here on the Earthling category team. Huge upgrade. Krillin might just be the very best unit on Earthling. Yeah, I... I uh, Krillin is probably the best character in the category, right? Unless I'm forgetting something obvious, so that's pretty good. Uh, then Krillin is also on Paddle of Wits. Unbelievable how strong... There's a couple of, like, historically weak teams that have become real hitters lately. World Tournament, Battle of Wits, Exploding Rage, just off the top of my head. These are three, you know, kind of like typically weak categories that are now really, really crazy, right? So that's good. Um, then we also have the Turtle School team. Uh, you know, so Krillin, of course, is on the 200% for AGL Carnival Goku. And remember, Krillin, Krillin is going to be really good even if he's not supporting. Um, right? So, like, we could run him just on the, this team with a lot of these Gokus, and Krillin will be fine. Uh, then Krillin is also over here on the Bond of Friendship category. Sure, sure, sure. Definitely a nice option there. Um, and then finally, Krillin is on the Earth Bread Fighter category team. Uh, so there we go. Let me know what you guys think of Krillin. I, I mean, looking at what he's doing, I, I do have to walk away from this and think, yeah, he he looks like the best Banny unit to me. He really does. Um, I think Krillin's strength level is just really surprising, actually. So let me know what you guys think, uh, and I'll catch you guys next time.